a really good week. So this week what we're going to be doing is do they love you. So this can be for those of you that have broken up with someone and you want to know if they still have those emotions for you. It could be that it's someone new and you want to know what they're feeling, what they're thinking, is there love there. So um, I've got two decks from you to choose from and I've also got these, these that I'm going to talk you through in a minute. So I want you to pick your decks first and foremost. So, deck number one and deck number two. So think about your person, and as you're thinking about your person, I really want you to feel that heart-centered energy that you have towards them, and push it into the deck that you are most drawn to, number one and number two. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, okay? So regardless of your circumstances or situations, uh, we go into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pull out the strongest energy that sits with you all, hence it's a collective reading. If you want to book a private reading, my turnaround time is down because England is on lockdown at the moment. Day number one, day number two. Okay, so let me show you these first and foremost with what we're going to do. These are a, a deck that this guy called Neil Kalsko, Kalsko brought out with his friend Andrea. Now these are called the Oracular Oracularium. Oracularium? Oracularium or Oracularium. Now they are very, very different. They are a cross between Oracle, Lenoma and Tarot. And they have an app that makes them uh, change shape and move and you actually go inside of the cards. So what we're going to do for first each deck, now you've chosen your deck, is we're going to do one of these Oracularium cards. I'm going to do a video of it so you can see it come into life and then we'll come back and we will talk through um, the Oracle and we will do your tarot. Okay, so let's do this. Deck number one. So we're just going to go into your energies first. So can you get me into deck number one's... Deck number one's energy, please. Deck number one. I can't wait to show you these Oracularium cards at Ace. Deck number one. All the people there. And everyone's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes, including the people that they are thinking about. Lovely, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one as well. Two, and let's just do one more for good measure, my guide is saying. Okay, so let's pull you an Oracularium card, and then I'm going to pause it, do a video of um, the card coming to life, and then we'll talk through it, so you can just see how cool these are, because I think you're going to love them. Can we have a card for deck number one, if their person still loves them? Okay, now, right off the bat, I'll show you this, and then I'm going to record it for you. This is the card of love, so two seconds. When you put love out in the world, it travels, and it can touch people and reach people in ways that we never even expected. So I thought you would really enjoy that, the card of love, you know, out of all the cards that you could have got from the Oracularium, you got the card of love. So right off the bat, this is showing that your person does have these love feelings for you. Also with the words that Neil says within that card as the deck speaks to us, it's talking about the unconditional love that the two of you share. And in spirit are saying with that, that this is a relationship that goes back through history after history after history. Um, and what they're meaning from that is that this is a past life connection that you guys share, that you're likely to have had a lot of past lives with one another. I do do past life readings if you want one, um, but this is something that precedes the earthly constraints are saying uh, likely to be a twin flame relationship that has got karma um, or a higher vibrational soulmate where you you know you've lived these multiple lifetimes with one another so right off the bat the answer is yes there is a love between the two of you and they do have these very strong feelings they're a little bit spirit saying they're a little bit higgledy piggledy um, <laughs> and what they mean by that is that you might find their emotions the way they handle the situation can be a little bit mixed up um, and they're not so good at expressing their emotions a lot of the time, which is the higgledy piggledyness. But their love for you is really, really strong. Okay, so let's do your tarot. Can you tell me, please, do their people, the people watching, do their people love them? Or love them still? Do they love them or love them still? Do they love them? 
So you guys are likely to be feeling uh, potentially that you've been a little bit let down by the situation because your person hasn't been communicating their real emotions towards you. Um, they've been quite in a sense of denial is probably the right word, but they've been thinking it through. Um, but they haven't really been making these leaps and bounds towards you that you would expect them to if they loved you. However, um, what the cards are saying over here is that they do have these love emotions for you. They do have these very strong feelings for you. Um, it's just that they're very good at kind of burying them down deep. Um, with your oracularium kind of coming over, over the top about your love for one another, your person does love you. They do have strong feelings. Now, it's likely between you both that you've had a bit of conflicting energy going on if you're a third party or there could be jealousy involved around you both um that potentially has come up if it isn't a third party it could be other third party situations so not a physical person but um alcohol addictions drug addictions uh, children anything along those lines could be a third party situation so there has been an influence on this relationship which has made it suffer spirit saying it's made it very difficult for you guys and you haven't really known what pathway or direction to take and the reason for that again is because your person hasn't really been communicating their emotions towards you you might feel that like you've been waiting around for something to happen or are they going to make these knights in shining armor movement towards you but they've been very emotions down deep and it's been leaving you feeling quite fed up with the situation that being said on the positive note you are in their thought process there is love here this isn't something that they're going to be able to hide from forever so even if they are burying it down deep the connection is still there it's a still a very very strong connection and your energies are entwined and we speak often about the helixes as you wave it in and out of each other's life this is a helix based relationship it's kind it, it's largely in your chromosomes in your dna this is something again spirit is saying that has gone through past lifetimes so it's embodied into your energetic body and from that the love that you guys I share is very very strong and very very real there has been this upturn of emotions you might be feeling that you're a little bit unsure about what pathway you should be taking what direction you should be treading next spirit are saying um but your person and their emotions for you they are there they're just hidden deep so they're seeing you in this kind of very strong, passionate energy. Um, they see you as someone that they can settle down with, that they can have a future with, that you can give them the security and stability that they want. It's just that they're holding fire a little bit on it at this moment in time. Let's ask why. Why are there people holding fire on this connection? Yeah, they're holding fire on this connection at this moment in time because there's a lot going on around them. There's a lot happening within their own life that they like to wear a bit of a mask. It takes them a while to let someone into their heart to express how they are really feeling. Um, and there is a sense of vulnerability that comes with that. So this is why they haven't really expressed their emotions to you. It doesn't mean that they don't feel them. And with that spirit of saying, it's really important that you pay attention to their actions and not their words. You might feel that you've been doing a little bit of a dance with them as the oracularium came to life you might feel that you've been dancing through the sunshine with them or through the rain and it's been going very backwards and forwards and spirit is saying with that that this is a twin flame dance or a soulmate connection that is dancing so sometimes they take the lead sometimes you take the lead they are hiding away from their emotions because they don't want to come over as vulnerable but they do have these very strong feelings there you guys are coming up to making a choice on it uh, what you want to do over the situation, where you feel that this is going, is it actually going to amount to anything? Your person isn't going to easily let you go. They are going to put a fight up for you and they are going to put a serious amount of effort into breaking out of this cycle between you both. So where you guys are being involved in this cycle, that cycle will now come to a close as their love for you really develops, blossoms and grows. As they hide, as they step away from this feeling of being vulnerable, they will start to give 
you more from this connection. And again, really important to pay attention to their actions and not their words. They are gonna give you more from the connection. They are going to express their love to you in the not too distant future. Now the impact over here, as we said, with this third party kind of energy coming forward, regardless of if it's a person or if it's an influence of someone or if it's anything else, this is what can cause this conflicting energy as well. Um, potentially with this people, their people, your people, past lovers have had an influence on this and this, what we mean by that is that they have been through quite crappy relationships or more difficult relationships and it's made them take a step back from allowing their heart to open up. So that vulnerability again kind of coming up to the surface. They need to make themselves more vulnerable around you. They want to express their emotions towards you. But they just have this overwhelming fear over here of getting burnt. It's that once bitten, twice shy emotions coming forward over here. Do they love you? They very much do love you. They do have these very, very strong feelings for you. Um, is it easy? No, it's not easy. Your person isn't expressing how they feel to you. Um, is it gonna work out? They can see that they've got a future with you. They can see that you guys can be stable footed. Um, they, you're gonna to have to go at their speed a little bit because they've buried their emotions deep, so deeply down that it's gonna take time for them to express it. However, there is an expression of emotions coming from them, okay? So maybe not yet, but they're gonna take the time to express to you their emotions when they are ready. Do not push this, let this, let them come to you with it. Let them explain their emotions towards you. And if you do that, this has got the, the very strong energy of going the distance between you both, no matter what your situation and circumstances are. The love here is strong. It just has that little bit of conflicting energy. I just saw a balloon going up into the air and with that balloon there were people, the person was trying to pull it down. So don't let them, um, if you're trying to fly, there's this kind of sense of trying to stay grounded with it as well. Um, but at the same time, that balloon, your relationship will soar, it will fly, and they and if you try and back away from this connection, let the balloon go, they are gonna try and pull you back towards them. So they're not gonna let you wander far, okay? The connection is very deep, it's very intense, and the love is there, a very, very strong love. And again, it's one that Spirit is saying, it, it goes back lifetime after lifetime, karmic energy coming forward. They do love you, they do have strong feelings for you. They're in a sense of denial, they're burying it deep, but this is something that can go the distance. You've just got to go at their speed. And if you choose to kind of float away for a little while or it's done and dusted, they will grab you back. They will hold the string of the, uh, of the balloon and they will try and pull you back. And it's really interesting that the balloon is a pink color for the unconditional love that you two share, that you've learned to love each other regardless of conditions, circumstances and expectations. And that is the beauty and the complications, but that is the beauty of a more demand uh, a more divine relationship. It's learning to love each other without expectations and hope and, or agenda of where it's going, but loving them just because you can. And that's painful, but at the same time, it is so beautiful. There is hope here. There is hope that this is gonna progress in the right direction for you guys, um, but do know that they do love you. They have got these very strong feelings towards you. Okay, and that is date number one. So if you need me, drop me a message. I'll put all the details in the description and the comments for you. Have a really good week, my angels. I will speak to you next week. Sending tons of goddess blessings to you all. Uh, stay safe in these difficult times. Lots of love. Bye. Okay angels, deck number two. So I'm just gonna go into you and your person's mutual energy between you all. And then I'm gonna do your oracularium card with the motion picture, okay? So let's just do deck number two. Does the person still love them? Does the person still, or does the person love them? Do they have love feelings towards those watching? Think about your person for me. Let's get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Really interesting here that we've got a song, um, If Only I Could Turn Back Time. I can't remember who sang that, but that's coming through. It's a female singer. If Only I Could Turn Back Time. 
Okay, so that is your mutual energy. So let's do your auricularium. I just want you guys to see the motion that comes with these. These are so cool. Can I have one card for deck number two? Does their person love them? Does their person love them? Okay. Well, we've got two. So I'm going to record both of these for you. You have fear, which is not surprising, and you have decision. So let me do the videos on both of these. I'll be back with you in a sec. are times when fear is good. It must keep its watchful place at the heart's controls. So as he's saying on here, there is times when fear is good. So there is a lot of fear involved in this situation with you and your person. And what you're gonna be doing is you've been really letting these fears come up to the surface. Now fears can sometimes act as warnings, but most of the time they are ego. And what we have to do is take a step back from our ego and really trust our intuition on a situation, okay? So if it doesn't come through your instincts, um, your gut instinct, if it's coming through your mind, do try to release those fears. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. So what we have over here is a decision. So this is about your person making a choice on it. Now if we put the fear card and the decision card together, there is this block that has been coming up straight away that they have a fear over making this choice with you, okay? Now, on this card, as you could see from the cool little video, your person is on a boat. Now, the boat always symbolizes movement and shifts and changes. Um, potentially, some of you guys, it could indicate travel with you and your person as well, but there is movement coming up between you both. They're making a choice and a decision on the situation. It's just at the moment that the fears that they have are overwhelming them a little bit too much. Okay? And that's not to mean they don't love you, it's just that these fears over the choice they have to make. Okay, That's some stationery. I thought you'd love those little video clips. So let's do your tarot. Can you tell me please, does that person that they are thinking of still love them? Or love them? Do they love them? Do they love them? Two. I, think I was going back to my old decks today. I really felt the pull back to my old decks. Do they love them? Three. Yeah. Temperance, my old friend. Do they love them? Four. Five. Okay. So I'm going to just get two more actually. Let's do a bigger spread on this. Two. So at the moment, you guys have potentially the situation has been cut away from you or you're feeling a sense of loss or grief. Um, for a lot of you watching this, there's been a feeling of cutting, they've kind of stepped back or they've cut the situation away. And the reason for that, coming back to your oracle decks, is because the fear over this. Now, your person sees you in a very sexual energy, a very passionate energy, a very feisty, sexy, powerful energy. Um, but when it comes to love, they're very good at just kind of trying to keep balance on it. They balance their head and they balance their heart. Sometimes they will let their head win over the situation and sometimes they will let their heart win. Now the reason they let their head win is because of this fear-based energy. Like we said, sometimes fear can be a good thing, um, but sometimes your person really does think about it and overthink and overanalyze. So they try to balance their emotions out and that might feel to you 
you, that maybe they don't love you, maybe that this is too painful, maybe they're not going to give you what it is that you want. And this is where this heartbreak energy is coming forward. So some of you guys potentially have cut this situation off. If you haven't cut this situation off, you're kind of sitting here waiting to see if this is going to progress and go the distance. Your person, again, is weighing their head and their heart. They're weighing... Um, the water-based energy with the air-based energy. So the water energy of emotions, the air energy of mind and intuition. And they're trying to balance those energies out. And with temperance, our old friend over here, my least favourite card, this is the balancing of their energies. Now, it's really interesting that we have the star coming up from this as well. So if we're looking just at the tarot, there is a progression route here. Normally, on a Rider away or a normal tarot deck, you will see that the uh, temperance card is the lady um, balancing the cups. And as the star goes on, again, you still have that balance, but it's an upgrade, okay? So where you guys are at the moment with the temperance, we also have star coming forward. So there is a progression route here between you both. This is a progression route of hope. This is a progression route root of faith. There is the progression route here that open communication could bring this situation forward towards you, okay? They are balancing their emotions out at the moment. Again, you might feel that they've let you down, that they've deceived you, that they've took a step back, um, and it's left you feeling very sore, very, very hurt. Now, with the roses on this spirit, I've just shown me a clairvoyant image of... Um, the rose and beauty and the beast and about the last petal falling um, and how you know the beast would transform before the last petal falls or he's going to be lost forever that's what they're bringing forward and with that I'm also getting the song kiss uh, kiss from a rose by teal I want to say um so again it's really focusing on here that your person has got these feelings for you but they're sleepy they haven't quite woken up to them yet you know, they do feel these emotions for you. They do feel the strength that your love brings them, but they just haven't fully woken up to it because they're trying to balance their head and their heart. And this is where the decision kind of comes forward and the fear card over here. There's so much in fear of this situation that they back away from it, that they can withdraw from it, that it leaves you feeling ha like hanging. You're not sure what type pathway you should be going in, what's going to happen next between you both. Um, but the per your person um, has got these emotions for you. You have to remember, people will always say love and hate are opposites. But in reality, love and fear are the only two opposites that we have in this world. So your person is acting on fear. And the reason that they're acting on fear is because it is the opposite of love. So a very kind of shadow aspect happening over here. In deck number one, it was very love aspect. In deck number two, there is the shadow aspect. That your person is working through these fears. I also just really heard the word self-sabotage then. That your person might be doing this self-sabotage on you because they are frightened of love. They're very, very scared of it. There is going to be a choice and a decision made on this. There is potential that it can move back forward. We've got three of cups over here indicating a celebration. But your person has got to wake up from the dormant that they are sleeping in. They have to step past these fears. And that those fears, they have got to really kind of internalise and stop letting their mind lead the way and start letting their heart lead the way. Spirit is saying something that you could do for this is if you wanted to try and get the energies moving a little bit better, is if you visualise the two of you sitting opposite each other. If you see your cord, which is correct, connected from your crown chakra to their crown chakra, your throat to their throat and your heart to their heart. Just those three is the only chakras you need to be focusing on. In the crown chakra, send over this violet indigo colour. The violet colour, sorry. Send over the violet colour. In the throat chakra, send over that blue colour, the colour of turquoise. Just visualise it going through. And in your heart, uh, the green colour. So visualise the two of you sitting next opposite each other where your three sh chakras that we're speaking about are connected and flood them with the colours. Okay, indigo, blue and green. And what this will do is it's just going to clear any stagnant energy around them, which is focusing on their heart and their intuition, um, their heart and their, their mind. They're allowing their mind to block their heart at the moment. So by clearing it, by putting those energies through to your person, it's going to clear the energies and any kind of pipelines that are blocked between you both. And the reason why we need to look at the throat chakra and clearing that is so that you can openly communicate with them. 
if you haven't got a piece of turquoise or um, a blue crystal which is for again for your throat chakra it's worth probably investing in one of them that you can just either wear on a necklace when you meet them or when you speak to them just so that you can end up speaking your truth if you work with gods and goddesses Sophia is the goddess of speaking truth and she's probably quite a good one to call in to gather that inner strength to say what you need to say so your person is trying to be keeping balance on it, they're hiding away from emotions, there is a choice that is going to be made on it, there is this fear based energy over it all. If they do run away and hide for a little while, don't get exasperated, spirit are saying try not to get exasperated, there is a returning of their energy, um, but they're just balancing it, they're trying to keep really really balanced. The positives over here is with temperance in the start, there is a progression route with decision from the oracle there is movement with it being on a ship so there is movement back towards you at the moment you are going through this period of grief you are feeling this loss or this sadness that this isn't quite going the direction you want it to perhaps that opening up to you on a more of a sexual level than a heart-based level and again the reason for that is because they're balancing their head and their heart is easier for them to talk about things of the mind i.e sex easier for them to talk about that than it is for them to open up their heart and again it comes back to this fear based energy so does your person love you your person has got feelings towards you they have got feelings towards you but they are letting their mind dictate this situation at the moment and they need to release that and if they release that then you can openly talk and communicate about the love at the moment they are just trying to gather the uh, momentum spirit saying on balancing it all out with that decision coming forward there looks to be a potential progression route, be route between you both but they are being quite difficult they are being quite difficult they've got to realize these emotions for themselves you can't push your emotions onto them and um, you know if you tell them that you love them 50,000 times a day your person is still going to be in the same situation that they are now if you take your emotions out of it you're likely to receive more emotional stability and confirmation that they have got these feelings for you and that is deck number two so I hope you really enjoyed the oracularium I thought you would I thought you would I might do a couple more of these on the public readings I think they are absolutely epic I just love them so I hope you really enjoyed that um, if you need me my turnaround time is down at the moment England is on full lockdown nothing is open so I'm at home every single day reading every single day so if you need me just give me a shout I'm sending tons of love to you all I will speak to you soon uh, goddess blessings from my house to your house and I will speak to you soon. Bye darlings. Bye.